Oh. Man, we got another one here stuck inside. What? How are you doing? Yeah, sorry. You gotta stay in here for the rest of your time. What do you mean? I I gotta go to bed. Have a great night. Excuse me. Zoe, get over here now. Why the fuck yeah, am Zoe. I stuck in the cell for the rest of my time? Oh my god. Oh my help gosh. her. I'll help her. You're not. It's uh, it's accident. Did you prank me? No, well, yes, but also, so when I got on duty, there were like five inmates also stuck in here. We're not too sure what's going on. Zoe. Wait, you <laughs> Stop, you're so funny. No. What's your name? Um, I don't think wait, I know your name. Uh, wait. Uh, James Rooker. James Rooker, I'm Zoe Marie. Have you met? Have you okay, heard of me? Okay, thank you, James. Oh. No, Zoe, we got to talk to Zoe, I need to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, James. Nice James. meeting you, Zoe. Yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you. Take care of yourself, all right? You too. Is that okay. a phone in your hand, Zoe? Don't no, it's, it's glued. It's glued. Yeah, don't make me confiscate. It's a tattoo, I promise. Okay. Um, when I tell you yeah, I'm going to murder Brittany, I'm going to lock. murder Brittany, right. and I They're fucking mean it. Do you mean when she ran you over? No, it's Wait, not even that. No. Okay, when she ran me over, listen to should this. We, should we walk somewhere so before we do this? Where do you want what? to talk? Let's, let's have you talk over here. What's happening? You have a phone? Hello? Zoe, no, I don't. hello. Oh. Okay. Hi, Zoe. So, I'm sorry, but go. I'm really sorry, annoyed I'm at Brittany. Brittany yeah. I'm sorry. She was pressuring me. She, I, w I literally was getting anxious because of her. Like, I was concentrating on getting you and see where you were. And she was saying, Valentine, uh, Valentine, Valentine, come, come, come. Like, girl, I'm trying to pick fucking Zoe up. Like, sh shut the fuck up in my ear, bitch. Can I say something? I should have to tell someone 50 fucking times where I am. I said, Pink Cage, Pink Cage, I'm exiting Mirror Park to Pink Cage. And she's and like, where, you were saying where, it to her, Zoe, where? when I was, when yeah, I was you telling you, phone, and huh? you were yeah, I heard you saying it to her too. And then by the time she came, I had already gotten cuffed two times. And by the third time, like it gets fucking difficult. And then um, she ran me over, I get caught. Like, okay, it's not my, like, I mean, I could have broke cuffs, like whatever, like third time, but. Why did she run me over and like, why did it take her so long to like know where I am when I kept repeating myself and you were telling her too? Like, if anything, it's the location part. The, the run over was obviously like no one intends location. to run over anyone. Okay, so. that's fine. But like, I don't understand like okay, the but whole like, like where, where, where yeah, yeah, I'm like, like telling she, you where I am. Okay, I feel like the reason why I didn't even escape cuffs that like I literally got cuffed right away is because I was so angry at fucking Brittany that like, she was doing all that because after that I like I couldn't I literally couldn't concentrate anymore. Like I literally lost all my focus and they were pitting us so aggressively. So I'm like, Brittany needs to stop acting that way okay, because okay. if not, I'm not doing jobs with her. Okay, hold on. Let's not jump to conclusions. I just think we need to see. I just want you guys to know, just like rem remember on the top of your mind, that was a crazy, crazy, crazy fucking chase that we did. So, you know, obviously tensions are high, stress levels I'm are high. I'm not saying she didn't do good or whatever. I know. I'm just I'm upset just saying, about the, the I think location it was panicking. part. Like, I think it was very if panicking. I was saying, if I was saying like, I'm on fucking like popular street, like bitch, I don't even know where the fuck that is. But I kept saying like exactly where I am, mm -hmm. like Pink Cage, Mortel, exiting, exiting Mirror Park on that road near Pillbox. Like I was trying to tell her everywhere. And then I, know, I was telling her as well. Where. I was telling her as well. But also on top of that, you know, obviously stress. Stress is played a huge factor in this. You saw how fucking crazy it was. We were all fucking stressed at the wazoo. And I think it was just her panicking. So let's get her aside when where she where she at? Oh, she didn't get out. She didn't get caught. I think. Uh, um. She didn't get uh, caught. Yeah. Oh. Oh wait. Speaking of which, I was hiding in a corner, and this bitch. I was hide. I was in a good hiding spot, and we were both on uh, foot. And, and sh she brought the cop to what? me because I was safe. Uh, oh my and then the cop God. was on me. Oh. Like, not to, I'm sorry. That's our ad. It's she didn't know. <laughs> She need no, I know, but she needs to stop doing shit like that or even running over on my right. I feel like she, she and she panicked me. She like oh, she's done so much like that was bad in this fucking thing. And y'all okay. drove. She drove past me when I when the cop beat me out of a nightstick and it was just <laughs> the one cop. You guys could have got me. Yeah. I think. And oh, I was trying to I was trying to direct her towards Mia, and then 
I think she was like also on the phone, so it was like you know. But you like, both were saying the same thing though. You were both yeah. we're all saying pink cage mortal, pink cage mortal, like exit mirror part. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, and then one last thing I wanted to say. Of course, like I came in clutch last minute because I was like just chilling and I heard you needed help, and like because before like y'all had everything under control, y'all didn't need me. But like I, I think I think I tried my best. A lot of factors, kind of you know. You know, like play into I, this. I I agree about like I don't know. I, Brittany just does this thing. I know what I you mean. Lately, what she's is, been kind of like, she like just, she lately thinks... she's been like she's been like like kind of like eagle like she knows best kind of thing. I know what you mean like by that. Just, yeah. I know what you mean by that. But I also think just like the stress, you know, like but yeah, it was stressful. It was yeah. it was definitely a panic thing, you know. Like regardless of of this ego thing that she's been having lately, like this is. Yeah. It was stress. Anyone would have been stressed. Imagine you were the forefront of this whole chase. But uh, what I will say is, sometimes we need to see when a situation is let Brittany cook. She's cooking up some good strats. Like, don't pit yet. Like, it's going to be okay. So, like, we need to analyze it. That we need to pit. Well, yeah, yeah I was I was telling her out. to go to you, but she was also doing her tricks meanwhile. So, I was like, okay, like. Yeah, but, like, but like that's we. there's times for tricks and there's times to get the, like, you know. Before more cops come and ends up like, like whatever is she the trying fuck to flex or some? Say it again, Bell. Is she trying to flex or some? No, she wasn't trying to flex. She was. It was a crazy chase. Like, if any of us, no, I, oh, if, if any it. of us were in it, like the forefront of it, which I was at the forefront of it for a little portion of it. it it's Girl, a lot of. It's a lot of stress. Was enough, it was, like, I know. You saw and that the way shit? We, got, we all got out. We both got out. And the cops started on the final pit that got them off of you guys. They started shooting at us, too. Yeah. Why did they start us? shooting you? Why? It, it's because, escalation. Because we were interfering. Because we were like, we kept pitting and interfering. They uh, warned us. That's how you we, escalate. We continued. Yeah. It's, it's, um, they didn't do anything wrong. But we, everybody got out. And then... But we got stuck on like a fucking like one-way train track. Oh, uh, so annoying. Yeah, like we couldn't do any of that. We couldn't get away. And then I the know. I just smoking. think that, like, all of us, I mean, not all of us, but, like, including me, need to work on comms because, like, it's been multiple times. I'm not saying I have not done anything wrong in terms of comms wise, but, like, I've been trying to get better. But with Brittany, like, I don't know. Like, I just, like, she just needs to be more specific and, like, I feel like when I was giving the comms, I was being specific as to where I was. And it shouldn't have taken that mm -hmm. long. Like, what if I had some, like, fucking meth on me or something? And it was something important. Like, and I'm literally screaming my location 50 times. And someone's like, where? Where? Okay. Like, that could have been this serious. Is where, this is this right here is a perfect... Oh, I don't have my phone. But I remember. Um, this right here is what um, I texted Flippy about. Because I asked Flippy, like, what, what are things that we need to, like... Be good at. Hey, ladies, have a oh. good night. Treat uh, Trudansky well, okay? Bye. I'll miss yeah. you. I was about to scream at him. Um, I just yeah. think we need to approach this talk not as in calling out. We just need to talk about how we could benefit each other, how we could improve from that experience, okay? Like, let's come at each other with, like, you did this and this. Let's do this and this next time. I think it would have worked out differently or better, you know? I don't want any of that, like, Point your fingers because at well, the yeah, end of the day, we all want, fucked up. I would up. want someone to do the same for me. Exactly. So let's, let's, with especially with her, like the way or the way of speaking, because that's how we like usually, you know, dictate how the talk's going to go. Let's um, make it more, you something? know, a learning lesson instead of, you know, our usual. I wanted to clarify to Mia, I didn't call Amara to complain. I just called Amara no, to like. No, honestly, let... I, I was just in the heat of the moment. I shouldn't have shouted yeah. you. That's my bad. No, Don't it's worry. fine. I know you guys are gonna cover. Okay, bitch. I know you guys are gonna cover it up. I was just telling Amara like if y'all needed help, like what's happening, like because I was out yeah. of the loop. No, That's it's it. okay. She, my, my, Amara didn't say anything. I was just listening to what she was saying on the phone, and I was like not fully concentrating because I was in a chair. That's yeah. my bad. Sorry. That's fine. Don't worry. It's good. And then, um, yeah, I think, I think there was all microscopic things we could have done to improve our performance. But overall, let's just come at each other positively. Let's hope she's there waiting for us. Cause she did not get I mean, caught. I could have shown you that. She better be. Okay. Let's go then. Um, don't know where you're going, but I have 22 months. I'm done.
Damn. They they keep giving I me found... long time every time I go in jail. I got gangly they, the the they know I'm a jail bit. I got 307 yeah. months. What? No, you fucking oh. did not. You're right, I lied. Let Come me do some on. kitchen though. I got gang related shooting though, so it's like 80s, 70s. JP from Greg's, are you fucking kidding me? You actually me? do look like that. You look like a chav. When I can't get. Really? You're your, gonna talk when makeup... you look like. I oh. look cute. Your makeup looks like a chav, babe. Sorry, but I'm one well, of the prettiest big... VFT and you're at the fucking Girl, bottom. Girl, that's me. Bitch. That's me. I'm the prettiest. I'm sorry, but if you look at me, I'm pretty. Who do you guys think is the prettiest GFT go? Me. Me. Obviously me. But what about you? Me. Definitely me. These fucking narcissistic. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I was not I'm gonna count myself out and I'm gonna say the prettiest GFT is probably. Me. Yeah. I will I'll say. say other than. Mm, I will say other than me, it's probably Noel or Amara. Uh, uh, it's not bro, Naomi. Amara, yeah, she, you Naomi look like looks a like a fucking mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say ugliest? that? Who's the ugliest? Actually, Brittany looks like a mosquito with her bug eyes. You literally you always say that. <laughs> because I just want to smack her with the fucking the thing that you smack the, the bug The electric with. thing? Swatter. The electric swat? <laughs> Britney get Britney and Naomi get a zap. Okay, who's the ugly? Who's the three ugliest VT? Okay, no, say why you say three? Me Why are you gonna? Why are you doing one pretty person and three yeah. ugly people? Because they're all ugly. Number Fuck one you. narcissistic, um, pessimistic, and full of themselves VFT go. Uh, Valentine. Valentine and Amara. Yeah, shut up. Full of, full of themselves VFT challenge. Amara and Valentine at the top. Okay. Just, I'm the one bitch that said another name other than my own name. Bombs. I'm the one bitch that said a name other than their own name. So. So well, I said name too. What are you talking about? You said yourself. I know. And then I said BNC. if I have to exclude myself, Amara or Noel. Four ugliest BNC. Three, two, one. Zoe, um, Naomi, Brittany, and Mia. You guys are Walmart, Addison, Ray, Mom, and fucking uh, stupid ass <laughs> Biggie. <laughs> You, you ain't Iggy, you biggie. Bar? Shut up. <laughs> and Mia, bitch, what? you look like, you look like fucking Mr. Clean, and so you look like the peanut gallery guy, fucking, fucking bitch. Stick. Okay, let's go. Gallery. Let's leave them. Let's leave them. We're, we're better. The pal lads go for 50. She's gonna go by. Mia. <laughs> Mia, we haven't not been able to hear a word you're saying. <laughs> you keep cutting out. It's been like that for like a good minute. Why is no one told? It's like, what are you talking about? My head. Thing. Zoe. What? I need to check how many months I have. Oh, we know. Hey. All right, let's go check how many months. So many times. I need to apologize. I'm about 44. Oh. All right, let's have this talk real quick before I sleep in here. Cause I have 44 months. I'm not doing that outside. Let's talk. Where's Mia? We'll talk here real quick. How much time? 44. Ugh. We'll just talk here. It's you. What? Red. Um. All right. What did I say? Uh, it's just the people have spoken and I told them to come at you, you know, with a mindful set uh, regarding mindful of positivity and just trying to benefit each other. So, you know, um, okay. Where's Mia? I don't know. All right, whatever. Amara and Val had something to say. Oh she oh she had I didn't popped. mean to she I popped. did not mean to hit you. Okay. That part I understand. Oh. But and we've all done this and still do, but I just think that when I told you where I was, it was very specific. We all know that location and you kept saying where 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 like like I told you literally like 15 times and then by then I was like tased like Thank you for the twice. Two like, I literally ran so far. I just don't think it should have taken like that many times to say where I was for you to know where I was. That okay, was listen. I had two bitches in my ear. 
I had Zoe saying, I had, I had Mia on the radio. I had Zoe talking next to me on my left and I had you in my ear on the phone. So I don't even know where to go. Like Zoe saying Mirror Park, Mirror Park. And then she's yelling Bo's house. And then I have Amara <laughs> screaming Mirror Park and um, exit. And then you so you're saying pillbox and then you're saying pink cage. I, I, like I'm, I'm getting, I got, I got away and then I'm getting a, I'm getting more cops on me again. Like they started chasing after me again. It was when so I stressful. Said, when I said pillbox, that was when you told me you were like in Mirror Park. I thought you were going the opposite way towards like the digital den um, no. getaway. No, but it's definitely right. So I was giving you like a landmark. I said when near said, pillbox going to pink cage, like from the Mirror Park like road. Yeah, and then I got it. And then I had Zoe screaming in my ear, where, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Go to Bo's house. No, and I'm I, was, like, I was talking like, to other I girls. Don't, I don't I know. Bo's saying, house. At, I was saying we're at Bo's house. Okay, well, I, I like I don't Mia. even know. Like, I was updating like, Mia on that. Like, who am I supposed to pick up, Mia or Amara? I had you on the phone, so I was picking you. Yeah. I think also the miscommunication is possibly we didn't know you two were together. You know, like, you know, since we're all both I on separate. I, 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 th I think we Mia. just need to keep it mainstream and stay stay on the radio. That's the that's the thing. We stay on the radio. The whole phone thing really fucked us up. I think that's a solution. Well, I way. called because I saw Mia on the phone, so I thought no one was going to listen to me if I was on the radio. Mm -hmm. I think next time, just no one has phones in general. Yeah, I agree. I, think that I don't get the whole radio thing. Yeah. I mean, the whole phone thing. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, what else we got? Val? Um, the my thing? Yeah. It's, you have something to say? Um, um, I, you like really stressed me out and pressured me when you were screaming on the radio like because of, because of the comms like when you were like screaming at me i was literally about to pick up zoe like i was like just looking where she was exactly because there was i like saw the cops and i like was trying to follow them and then i found zoe that's why i was not giving comms because like i was concentrating on that and you were screaming at me like threw me off like completely yeah honestly like i didn't know that you, you, it, the radio was just went silent, so I didn't know. And then, like, also, like, I don't know why you said, like, oh, like, they told me not to be a part of it. Like, of course, wrong. like, you, like, no, said, Mia, just try to no, help. No, no, like, no, 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 Mia told me it's fine. It's okay. Like, she said. Whose team are you on? So this is what Mia said. Let me hear it in chat. I told, she told me to uh, do the swap. She told me go to, like, Bar. green grass. And I was, like, she said oh. something like that. And I was, like where like i don't know what exactly what you're talking about and like i and she said no it's fine okay valentine don't worry we'll we'll do it ourselves and that's it mm. like that's why i'm saying like you that you guys like didn't okay well my those. bad well no like i like i thought you were saying like oh like you didn't include me so like i'm i wasn't helping like no of course like as soon as i heard zoe on the radio saying that she needs someone to pick her up i went out of my way to like you know yeah help. I had a lockpick car I, already. Yeah. Nah. I think Britt Brit realizes that now. And, you know, Britt was in the case where someone else I, was screaming at her the other day. And she said, My thing, oh. I genuinely think we should have a day. And because I'm really bad with understanding locations, I think that we should literally just have a day where, like, we get in cars and, like, pretend that we need help. And we get on the radio and, like, give streets and locations and like do calm practice because that's like so important like you're yeah. never gonna learn like obviously if you're in a chase and you're doing it like it's different like you you kind of don't have room to fuck up but if it's just like for fun i think we should just do it because i important. agree honestly we, it just really got know that. yeah it just got it got super hectic for me because i literally had three voices in my fucking ear and I just had got away, like I got out completely and I was ready like in that 45 minute chase. And then I head back to Mirror Park and then there's a cop on me again. I spin out, I, I'm ready at one stall. So I was just like stressed. And then that's when, you know, everyone yeah. was screaming in my ear. Yeah, let's please ditch the phone thing. So like if someone like is not even involved, involved, like I was. Like, at least I can hear what's happening, know, you know, and I can I do it real time on the radio. On. I can't even talk to the other two people on the phone. I think that's more, the phone. more like, of a Mia thing. Let's ask Mia why she phone called, because Mia did call me. 
Yeah, Mia does do the she phone does call that. a lot. I think yeah. you need to just tell her to stop. We've never talked about it, so yeah. don't expect her to know. Yeah, we'll tell her when she's around. So I think the solutions here are no phone thing. When we're in a hot pursuit, like hot, high intensity thing, we need to recognize these kind of things. Um, if, also, oh, I kind of want to say something. And three, just like stressing out each other. Okay, just remember, everyone's stressed. Don't need to fucking scream. Okay, what do you what yeah. do you have to say? Mm, actually, there, man. It no, 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 it, it, it was it was a Vince say, Cash car. Well, yeah. I was gonna say we need to recognize when we need to cut our losses because we had gotten out and then we just lost. We oh, lost that yeah. car. That was a and Vince scratch, and then we also the lost. Tried to say we got two cars impounded. The officer yeah. was trying to say that he was like mine That's under valid, my yeah. name. Like what? Like I was literally screaming at him. No, it's not my blue fucking AMG. Like what are you talking about? Like he was saying he was like going back to my name. Like how? No, he's just um, he's just blabbering you. Can I it's say right. something? Wait, my question. Hold on, hold on. My question that I was gonna ask was how did you get in touch with my car? Uh, it started off as a fuck. I forgot it was a traffic stop because I like turned a corner too fast, and then bruh, girl, are y'all? No, no, no. I don't need these comments when I'm explaining my story, especially when I'm not finished. You two, thank you. I'm just saying, bruh, all that for traffic. <laughs> stop. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I have an issue with that. I'm just saying, let me finish before you guys comment on it. Cause it's once I mean I don't it, care. It was good practice. It's anyway. gonna be like it's good. You're gonna think like wow, even further. Like what the fuck was this about? Get ready. Get ready for this one. Oh, Thirty five months. So we get pulled over. Um, something or something. ID. Mia. Mia has her ID. I don't have my ID. Obviously, bitch. Who the fuck has their ID? Um. I do. Thank you, Valentine. I do. Okay. Okay, well. I mean, I usually do. I just, I actually don't know what happened to mine, to be honest. Um. Secondly, we get pulled over. Mia, like, gets out the car. And. I think Sam Bass thought, we, like, we were going to, like, do something. And Who then. Who got out the car? Uh, Mia. Oh. Why did she get out of the car? She does that at every okay, traffic but, stop. Okay, the thing is, like, think you, you know how these cops are. You know how these cops are. You know, don't put everything on me. Like, this cop definitely escalated the situation. No, I'm just asking, Because like, why he also out? tased her, and then the locals started shooting. Mm. So, obviously, Girl. we dipped. The locals started sh shooting at the cop, so, obviously, we fucking dipped. Like, it's our opportunity. But Mia was on the floor for, like, a literal like a minute getting tased like she was tased like it was low-key kind of scuff like she, she wouldn't she should not be tased that fucking long for that tased but she was tased uh -huh. for hella long on the ground so it basically a traffic stop but like a really fucking stupid traffic stop like really stupid all that mm -hmm. and then we actually had we had to get me out because she had seeds so yeah but Which valentine did. your car is actually a thousand dollars to get out i checked oh okay Girl. and mine is 65k let me say something. Oh my God. And I'm taking that out of the VFT account. And that's okay because no. we have a mill. I have to. I have no money to get my car out. Okay. Um. Unless we have stuff on us that can like get us into a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. I think if we're in somebody's car, like let's say we're in like Valentine's car and like me and Valentine are like in a chase, but we have nothing on us. Like. Other people can help, but I would say use like local cars because either way, if we get out the car, like they're gonna impound it and then we're just risking another car. Like, yeah, at that point, you would only just lose one, you know? Yeah, like, there's no point sure. in getting like three cars impounded, like because it totals up. Like, my car right now is on the impound for 100k, it's been like four fucking days. Like, that shit is gonna be expensive to get out yeah once once you give it a bit of time it's gonna be really good and it's gonna be easy like, yeah really so i think if someone like i mean i don't want to use this as an excuse but i think if like there's nothing on you like if someone doesn't want to risk their car for that like we shouldn't get mad at them you know what i mean like if there's nothing on you 
because you're risking yeah like we need hard. to cut our losses yeah like, it's gonna you're get just gonna go to jail anyway. for like yeah. five months that's it yeah i agree with um, that but mia did have seeds on her so you know we had to get her out yeah well no, i'm talking I about like the amg we just AMG lost that going back for Amara and Mia. i mean i don't really care personally because that's the crash we can just get another one yeah my take on it is like it's definitely we need to know when to cut our losses you know i think like, we had just we got out yeah. from like a 50 minute chase right there and then we just got back in it. Yeah, most of the time we do. I think there we fucked up. We fucked up going in for the second time. And also, what the fuck? I literally did the jump and then the cop fucking busted us off. Oh yeah. That is so like unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Where I did the canal jump it's and then the cop like bumper followed carts, us. Bumper carts yeah, over there. Yeah, that was crazy. I'm telling you, they, their experience, which just shows that as, the, as good as we are at driving, Can, we're not the best we need to we need to learn more stuff like we need to learn new um like i mean the airport swap we just learned which is good but we need to learn more swaps and the, more the gra uh the gsf we one we should ask ming we should but we also need to learn more Why don't um we ask alex as well like i feel like we've never talked to him about driving and he's a oh, good yeah, driver he's, really good. he's a good driver What's, what was gonna say? i was gonna say blocks we need to learn yeah. new blocks because that vault one is getting old. It is getting old. Um, we should have done can the other one. Can we have a one. practice day? I want, I want the practice day. Yeah. So we, like we can all get back. Okay, but you, you should do it tomorrow. These are something. practice days. Like these days are. Yeah, today was a practice days. day. No, but like I'm talking about practice day that we actually go out of our way to like find new placements for us to like uh, do. Uh, so swaps, like a day do... for like discovering new spots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was discovering new spots. I was talking to Alex um, a couple of days ago and I was like, how do you oh, practice like when the impound fees are crazy? And he said the best way to learn is like with local cars, because if you can learn a local car, like you can drive anything. It's true. I started yeah. off. I started off on stratums. And you so don't we used to be anything. doing that. Remember when we only did stratum getaways? That was us in our cut. Oh, yeah. yeah. That used to be fucking peak fucking getaway time, like practice time. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll dedicate a day of the week. Uh, to learn all that. I feel like and also cars. the the nerves too when we're driving because I used to get hella like nervous and scared, but I don't anymore. Like that whole chase, like maybe in the beginning I was a little nervous, but after that I was like locked in. Yeah, those cops are fucking good. So, so. it just like after like a lot of practice and stuff, um, like the nerves go away. I feel like we the nerves to, gone away. The cops were in their cut. Yeah. And we will. Let's we're gonna have a day where we go around and discover new spots. Done deal. Mm -hmm. Are you out yet? No, I'm gonna go to sleep in jail because it's not enough. Then I'll wake up outside. Tyreek's jail. in jail. Dear God, I'm uh, going to sleep then. Uh, Tyreek and Jamal. No. Oh Jamal. Uh, Didn't you go on a date with Jamal? Yeah, I'm also dating your fucking yeah boss so not too much all right let's go i brought the g-wagon here my daddy. oh my god does he know does party know that you got on a date with someone else do you know i'm gonna tell him stay, staying single oh let's Please. go let's go do you guys tell him everybody he don't him. believe you Bye. And, and he's buying me a katana bitch well he's gonna believe no he's not he, he literally told me he's he buy me katana one two y'all jealous you're cut off the paycheck bitch